February is heart month and there are nearly 1 million heart related deaths each year evenly split between men and women. But cardiac warning signs can vary widely. One woman raced to the ER multiple times before her heart disease was properly diagnosed. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with her story, Doc. Well, here's the thing, Pam and Kim. You know, women of all ages, but especially younger women, they're more likely than men to develop a type of heart disease called coronary microvascular dysfunction, or CMD. It's a disease that affects the small vessels of the heart, not the large artery blockages that people are more familiar with. It's also more likely to be missed or misdiagnosed. Selena Gore is the CEO of WomenHeart.org and a heart patient herself. When neck fullness and fatigue hit hard, she headed straight to the hospital nearly a dozen times only to be sent home undiagnosed. In addition to chest pain, I also had a real consistent fullness in my neck. So I was convinced that I, was, I had a blockage in my neck. The conclusion of those ER docs was that I was having a particularly hard day. Studies show gender makes a difference in testing and treatment. Because coronary microvascular dysfunction occurs more commonly in women, if they're tested only for large artery disease, then CMD remains undiagnosed. But it's an easy test. So it's very simple. It's an additional five to seven minutes extra on top of a regular diagnostic cardiac catheterization. But testing for CMD is often not routine because it hasn't been an official diagnosis. Dr. Haider Hashim recently testified before the CDC in an effort to change that, and he was successful. The CDC approved it as a diagnosis as of October 1st, 2023 that this disease of the microcirculation of the small capillary is now a recognized diagnosis. Good news for both Selena and countless other patients with CMD who may otherwise go undiagnosed and untreated. Now, Dr. Hasham and his colleagues are compiling a registry of coronary microvascular patient symptoms and diagnoses that soon could become a national database to provide more information for doctors and researchers on CMD and, of course, hopefully more awareness as well. And when it comes to CMD, what do we know about the symptoms as well as the treatment of this disorder? Well, so, you know, the symptoms can actually vary, but the most common are some of the similar ones, chest pain, shortness of breath, and or fatigue, but it's treated with medications that we use to manage other heart problems like beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and so on. But first, of course, you need the diagnosis, yeah. and that is really the hard and part. If you here. need to keep going back like that lady yeah. did to the ER. Right. You do it. Mm -hmm. More awareness is what we need. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, sure. Dr. McGeorge.